Sell everything. Ethereum is going to zero. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Verse Crypto channel with the most good looking man in all of crypto. My name is Gus Chris, and I'm going to be your host today. Before we off this view, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button and turn bell notifications on so I give you guys update the latest grades and news and information within this space. And that being said, let's hop right in this video. You guys heard my introduction. That's it. It's over. Ethereum's going to zero. Crypto banter and all the mainstream crypto influencers are correct. Why are you wasting your time? Cryptocurrency is just a scam. You guys haven't caught on yet. I'm just joking and I was just trolling you. Ethereum is not going to zero. Ethereum is not dead. And we're going to jump into what's going on and why these people are liars. On top of that, I'm going to talk to you guys about some hidden meme coin gems on the Ethereum blockchain that could potentially be absolute sleepers. Because we here in the Verse Crypto channel, we're front running everybody in this market. You will not find a crypto channel that has the special sauce to find the gems to make life-changing gains, not financial advice. To start off, let's come over here to this tweet, and this says this says it all, but some context. If you guys have been in cryptocurrency the past month, everybody's been screaming about how Ethereum is dead, layer twos are the new future, Solana is king, all this garbage. I called it out right off the bat, no one else did what I did. And I want to point out this tweet where on May 14th, if you come over here, just take a little look. I'll zoom in right here. May 14th. Looks like everyone is fudding Ethereum for Solana. I'm panicking buying meme coins on Ethereum. I'll never follow the crowd. May 19th, 2024. I still stand by this thesis. Everyone was saying Ethereum is dead, but in reality, it's cooking up a massive meme coin run that will soon spread to other, cha to, to other chains. Prepare yourself. So that was on May 19th. And present day, it turns out we have the Ethereum ETF, which we'll jump into in a second. But long story short, the reason why I knew this was just some sort of narrative to manipulate the markets is because when all you guys say the same exact thing, most of the time it doesn't happen. If 99% of people in cryptocurrency agree on one thing, something's going on because I, because after being in this market for two years, nobody agrees on anything. If there's a coin they don't like, they FUD it. If there's a project they don't understand, they FUD it. If they can get on Twitter to get more engagement, they start fighting with each other. Nobody agrees. There's, there's no agreement. This isn't a utopia. So, of course, something was up. When I saw Crypto Banter, Ben Armstrong, all these big YouTubers and cryptocurrency influencers say that, hey, Ethereum might not be play this market. I would stay away from it. I started buying crazy. I went into the meme coin research. I hit up my boy Trey Souls and the rest of the guys on my team. And I said, here's the deal, guys. They're lying. Something big is about to happen. We need to get in right now. Fast forward, we actually just had the Ethereum ETF approved. What does that mean? Big banks, financial institutions, corporations, TradFi, they can officially get into ethereum through the stock market that is going to be huge because that means billions are coming in and what that also means is this is going to be one of the greatest bull markets of our time which i am super duper stoked we stay bullish we don't fud we keep pushing it so it's really good stuff now i want to come over here to the bitcoin price chart and just give you guys a little breakdown of when i spoke about this so just taking a quick look, Bitcoin's been trading sideways. We had an inverse head of shoulders and then to a break up to the upside. Now, when I posted this tweet, it was May 14th, right here, literally right on the on on the shoulder of the of the head and shoulders. I mean the inverse head and shoulders. Now, the reason why when, when I was looking at the chart pattern, I knew there was going to be a break to the upside. If you guys just look at simple TA, you can already tell. Here's the shoulder line, and then right down here, here's your head right there. Head, shoulder, shoulder. And so that means we'll have a break to the upside. So 
right when that happened a couple days later we had the ethereum etf announcement everybody got bullish and we see this really big green candle on the 20th everybody got super duper stoked and excited so if you guys listen to me on may 14th you would have bought the bottom of this current uptrend and you'll be in a very great position in some of your old coins, meme coins, whatever coins. So the main point I'm trying to get across is be the black sheep. Do not listen to crypto banter. Do not listen to Ben Armstrong. Do not listen to Altcoin Daily and the rest of these clowns because they are going to set you up for failure. My YouTube channel, very small. Not many people come in and watch my videos. So I don't have that much impact on the market, if at all any. So this is a great opportunity to learn from this because if you understand this, you will see the key indicators when the top is in so you can get out of the market. And there's a good chance that the same people that told you Ethereum was dead are the same people that are going to tell you that Ethereum is going to flip Bitcoin. Ethereum's going to $20,000. Bitcoin's going to a million dollars. This ain't happening. It's not going to happen in this market, maybe in the next bull, bull market cycle, but not now and not anytime soon. So... On top of that, we've got a new developing ecosystem that I briefly want to go over. Before I get into the meme, the cheese, the, the meme coins, because I, I know you guys are just those dirty degens. You just love the pixelated images of frogs and monkeys and stuff that I just don't even understand. If you guys have been following Gold Network, this is something I've been mentioning because nobody's talking about it. I'm always looking for a new blockchain with a new developing ecosystem. And currently, what my strategy is, is I find the popular layer ones and layer twos and i find the premium meme coin on every single one of them and i dive into it. i don't buy like 20 of them i want the premium i want that new new i want the shiny object that sits on the top of the hill and that's what i look for so gold network why is gold network important we just recently had mainnet launch and then we're gonna have the token launch if we come over here to the website scroll all the way down so goldnetwork.com we see these partners and there's one partner that pops out I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna zoom in real quick so you guys can see it nice and big right here right here banter capital crypto banter is a vc fund on the goal network what do we know about crypto banter he's been launching meme coins he got into tucker he launched gummy he's launching bait he's setting up meme coin utility whatever that is and now he's creating a layer three the reason why I'm bringing this up is because in the couple weeks, he's going to be talking about the gold network when the gold token is launched. He's going to be telling you guys all about it. And how I see this playing out is he's sitting here saying that, okay, we have VC funds dumping their tokens on the market, destroying retail investors. I want to see VC funds put it all out there and just let the project run. We also see people jumping into meme coins. Gold Network is designed for meme coins. It's a DEX, it has interoperability, and it's a layer three to the Manta Network, which is a layer two to Ethereum. So the best way to think about it, it's like a layer two on top of layer two. We got this Ethereum scalability matrix. It's all confusing and stuff. But long story short, this is going to be a meme coin layer three, and Crypto Banter is going to be pushing it once the gold token's out there because he has a huge piece of the pie. Now, I did some research because I am Sherlock Chris, the son of Sherlock Holmes. I got the special sauce and I found something interesting as I was scaling and monitoring the matrix. Now, if you guys come up here and just click on um, gold, where was it? Trade and go to the swap. There's a DEX built on top of the gold network that you can easily access. Now on the gold swap, we scroll down and we check out the tokens list. We got ETH, Wrapped ETH, yada yada, boring, boring. Oh, wow. Kuma. Hmm. Kuma. What is Kuma? Why does it look like a weird husky dog? Let's go check it out. Come here. To, come over here to the Kuma chart. Wolf Wolf, Telegram. Looks like a meme coin. It is. And we come back here. Check the list. It is the only meme coin on the gold network where you can trade before the launch of the gold token what does this tell me this tells me that the kuma token is going to be the premier token on top of the gold network and also the manta network if we come over here and check out the kuma twitter account i'll give you a quick breakdown what it is i think i mentioned it before but 
It is the unofficial dog of Manta Network, the first and only dog coin you need, named after co-founder Manta Victor G's dog. So long story short, one of the founders of Manta has a dog named Kuma, and they launched this token on top of that. It turns out Kuma has a partnership with the Gold Network, which means Kuma is going to be the centerpiece of the Gold Network and the Manta Network when they try to pump the on-chain liquidity. This is going to be the centerpiece, and there's a good chance that I'm speculating this could potentially be an absolute hidden gem. Now, if we come over here to Kuma, we just look at the market cap. This is sitting at $271,000. This is very small for a meme coin. Any meme coin under $1 million is a big red flag, and there's a good chance that it might not work out. But based off of what we're seeing with the Gold Network, Crypto Banter shilling it, and also Manta trying to get some on-chain liquidity onto their layer two, there's a good chance that this might open up the gateway for it, which is why I'm speculating on top of it. And so sitting at 271K market cap, if this thing gets to a two, a uh, $20 million um, market cap, that's 100X right there, which isn't too bad. 2 million would be a 2X, yada, yada, all across the board. So Kuma is going to be your first meme coin gym. That's technically on the Manta network, but it does play into the Ethereum narrative because I do see gold network launching its gold token very soon because mainnet is live so yeah go ahead guys check it out go on to the goldnetwork.com verify my research take a look into it now we'll get into the the mean the mean the cheese of this video you guys want meme coins and i got them for you when i was freaking out buying meme coins and everybody was calling me a loser i found some gems that could potentially be not only short term and medium term plays but also could potentially be long-term plays now to start off the first token on this on this list is going to be called monkus it's a green frog it stems back from the 4chan days and to be honest with you i don't really understand these frogs and dogs or whatever but the one thing i do know is 4chan memes hit hard that was at the beginning of the internet and monkus was a big character on 4chan i mean 4chan when it first came out so, in my opinion, I think Monkus could fall into the Pepe um, narrative. It is a little bit of a derivative, but I do see a community form behind it. I see a lot of whale wallets accumulating it. And in my opinion, this could potentially be the sleeper that a lot of the Pepe Boys Club guys don't see coming. And at the time of this recording, it's sitting at a $5 million market cap, which makes Monkus your first Ethereum meme coin gem. Now, for your second meme coin gem on the ethereum network it's another pepe derivative in my opinion pepe derivatives are gonna be a really great play it's also one of their pets that was identified in the novel that was created by matt fury and also the founder met matt fury in person the name of this project is night feeder now if we come over here to the twitter account nice little comic we have night feeder and it's basically this little bird or crow. I, I have no idea. I guess it's just like a crow. But long story short, this is the pet of the boys club. And one thing that I noticed when I did research on Fofar, Pepe, Andy on the Ethereum blockchain, a lot of, of the big whale wallets have been accumulating, accumulating knife feeder, which indicates to me that there could potentially be a run behind this token after we see Pepe, Fofar, um andy and all the other boys club token do its thing and so what i'm betting on is that because knife feeder plays very well into this narrative it's also the pet and it's also not a green frog this could potentially be a absolute sleeper on the ethereum blockchain that's why knife feeder is your second ethereum meme coin gem and for your third and final meme coin gem this gets into the election narrative we got a huge u.s presidential election coming up Anything runs during election narratives, whether it's a family member, a hat, a memorabilia, and even their pet animals do really well. Now, the name of this project is Simba, and Simba is Donald Trump's cat. We've seen cat memes run on Solana. They're going to run on Ethereum. It just hasn't really clicked hard, and sooner or later, the soul bros are going to come over to Ethereum and do what they do best. And so based off the election narrative and also the cat coin and also the connection to the former U.S. president, I think this could potentially be an awesome play. 
Right now, it's sitting at 162K market cap. And the chart has very well bottomed out. And so once we start to see the election ramp up and we start to see a lot of election meme coins run, there's a good chance that a lot of people will speculate on Donald J. Trump's cat. And that is why Simba is your third and final hidden altcoin gem. Well, guys, that's it for the video. If you got a meme coin gem on the Ethereum blockchain, drop it down in the comment section below. And before I have this video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn bell notifications on so I keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest, and news and information within the space. My name is Kyle's Chris. I love every single one of you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, y'all.